now for our, we gotta get ready for our Globe Trotter audition. And if we don't make that, we gotta do it down one minute. Please, you gotta figure it out. <laughs> Good job, Jen, go! You gotta do a trick. Good mother fluffin' Friday to you ninjas and ninjets and nigglets across the world. Hope your guys' Friday is blessed. Uh, starting mine off reviewing some stuff I had Juice do last night. And it's good, man. 90% good. He just fluffed up on the social media part, and this is a sponsored video. He, he, he fluffed up on probably the most important part of the video. But it's a quick fix, so. Juice be fluffing up a lot, but Juice is doing a lot right, and he's grown a lot. I'll kind of give y'all like a positive rant on Juice one day in his progress. Kind of y'all fully understand the situation with Trent and him. Sometimes it seems like I'm being hard or I might be late. Like y'all don't y'all don't I don't think y'all always understand the moves that I make. Mainly because a lot of y'all that comment could just be young. Yeah. I'd be knowing what I'm doing with Juice and Trent, but Juice is doing really good. Um he gotta fix this though. He got he got he even fluffed up with this. He gotta fix it ASAP. But uh, yeah. So I'm going through reviewing this, and I got jujitsu in 20 minutes, so I gotta hurry up. Good morning, Maverick fam. Coco. Good morning. Tiana. Ah, day two. Cindy. Jen. <laughs> it's cold. I mean, it's a nice, refreshing cold though, cause it's like the morning. Day two at Aspire. Getting lined up for breakfast because it's like that. Everybody wants to sit by their friends. So you gotta come get in line or you're gonna end up at a table with strangers by yourself. Which isn't bad because you're supposed to like make friends and stuff, but it's still awkward. So Rachel! But yeah, I'm gonna eat because I'm hungry. Aw, snap. So your voice passport came in officially. Up, up, up. I was about to say some mad stupid, like a, a passportian. Like it's a dang country or something. Your boy owns a passport now, that's what's up, man. Uh, it was real expensive to get it as quick as we did, but it was worth it, man, so I could make this trip. Where did you sneak off to? He must have got up. Good. That boy been asleep all day. Let's go find out. He probably went to sleep at like two. Juice, you up? What time do you go to sleep? Like five? Yeah. Okay. Juice got that means you went juice went to sleep at six. Jeez. Alright. So I had to make sure I got my passport. Make sure juice is up. I'm about to hit the gym. Yo, people, what's good? Chilling with the goon Linda. Hey Linda. Linda. Linda, come say what's up to the people. Linda. Alright, she just gonna punk me, okay. Yeah, I just got out the shower. Girls are sleeping. Um, waiting for some stuff to render for today. Um, Today's actually, man, a day where I don't have a whole load of work. Like, I got stuff to do, but it ain't been like it's been. Today is like a relief. So, um, yeah.
I lured Jen out into the middle of the forest. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. So the first year I came to Aspire was 2014. And I've come every year since, but now they're starting to like fill up. So like this year, there's 320 ladies and they can't fit any more people. Like the sanctuary is packed. So next year, the conference is just gonna be held at our church, which is cool because more of our people will have the opportunity to go. Obviously it's a lot cheaper if it's in town and meals aren't provided and all that types of stuff, but sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> but there's just something about coming up here on the mountain, away from everything, not really having too much service, and just being able to spend time with God, just peace and quiet, like, no distractions, no TV, like to really hear the message and then be able to just meditate on what you heard and just the experiences and just encounters and stuff that you have with God while you're here. It's amazing. And I'm gonna miss it if this is the last year here. We're at Frontier Ranch in Buena Vista, Colorado. So, and it's nice, like I'm in the middle of the, in the middle of the forest right now. And like a first year, I climbed like all the way up this mountain with a group of my friends. I'm trying to see if you can see. Ah. If you can see like the little shack we ended up at. You can't see it from here, but I can see it from down at the campsite. So I'll show you guys so you can see how high up it was. And my first year I came out here was a month after I got out of the hospital from my sudden onset of paralysis from the waist down. So I felt like I had something to prove. <laughs> Ooh, I almost fell, that would've sucked. <sighs> yeah, but see this little bridge? It's just so cool. You take pictures and live life. It's almost time for lunch, I'm hungry. That's like all I say to you guys this weekend i'm hungry but it's true i am look man i'm telling y'all i'll be out here putting in work um i oh geez i haven't been awake too long um i didn't go to sleep till crystal got here so that's like six seven in the morning but um yeah man just waking up made some fixes to some videos and i'm waiting on those to render and as i'm waiting i'm playing madden and this dude getting smacked they, he lucky I have both hands, that would have been a pick. Hey, Ray Ray. How was your nap? Good. Good, say what's up to the people. Say what up though. <laughs> I'm pretty shook, y'all. Um, so I missed the whole thing. I'm getting to the gym late, you know. They probably start hooping like an hour ago. So I was probably only gonna catch like 45 minutes, 30 minutes of hooping. You know, I'm walking up and I notice, you know, one of my dudes, Larry, he's he's outside. And I was like, yo, did y'all stop hooping early or something? He's like, yeah, man. Um, One of the dudes up there that's always playing, his name's Eddie. He had a heart attack up there. Everyone loves Eddie, man. Eddie's just that chill dude. Like, he's not like super old. I wouldn't know where to, I don't know, maybe like late 30s, like early 40s, but he's not like an old dude and he's in shape. Like he's muscular. He be muscling me. He, he's been playing as long as I've been up there and I haven't, you know, he's been going consistently. So I, I would think his cardio is pretty straight. I, I don't know what happened. They said he was going down court, took like a deep breath, fell back, hit his head, stopped breathing his eyes rolled back in, into his head they had like a defibrillator here that they say probably saved his life they got him back at least breathing again and then the ambulance took him um, that's just that's crazy man that sucks obviously there's no hooping everyone's done and I guess like his phone was locked so they couldn't find I couldn't get in it to like find any point of contact for him so I honestly don't know what to do. Like I feel bad. Like he didn't have any emergency contacts on his account. I don't know where he works. So 
I just feel bad. So I know there's a close hospital. I'm going to try and roll up there. I don't know. See if he's there. Maybe there's something I can help. I don't know. And call someone, inform someone. I don't know. I don't know what the procedure is. I don't know if they have someone there in place to already figure that stuff out. But And it might be a little awkward for him. I don't know. Because me and him, like, we don't have any kind of real relationship besides dapping it up every time we hoop. But he's just a cool dude, you know. So... If there is something I could help, do to help, that'd be awesome. If it's weird, and I'm like, hey, all right, so I'm going to check on y'all. I'll dip. But, uh, yeah, man, it's got my heart heavy, man. It made me real sad, so. This is a ropes course, something that I've never got to do. Um, just because, you know, my first year was my first year, and then last year I didn't get a raffle for it, and I didn't this year either. I probably wouldn't have done it, though, just because I don't know how much body strength it requires and you can't get up there and like get stuck but it's like they come from like way back over there somewhere and they get to here and it's a zip line and then there's like a giant tower thing over here at the end that they have to jump off of and I'm never like watching anybody do anything so I definitely want to see somebody like jump off I feel like people freak out every year because they don't realize how high it's gonna be and then they realize they're deathly afraid of heights so yeah i don't know we'll see maybe somebody freaks out <laughs> Just chilling, man. Just chilling right now. I'm gonna start working on tomorrow's videos here pretty soon. Yeah, the girls are being bad, especially Larray, man. She been on one. Every time uh, Larray give me attitude, I just remember that Kevin Hart skit. He's like, "You ever, your kid ever make you so mad to the point where you want to fight?" It's like Larray be pushing me, man. She she don't listen to nothing I say. But we're working on it, man. She'll get it. I have faith in her. She's a good kid. And I know she can do it. I know it. But alright y'all. I'll be back. I'm not sure what's going down today for me. But I guess you'll see. So I'm leaving the ER. And pretty pissed off man. I'm not even going front y'all. I'm a little hot. Let me try and tell this as fast as possible. This is the second emergency room I went to. First one was cool. I went up there. I was like I told him the situation y'all. There's a guy. I mean, I play basketball with him. I don't know a whole lot about him. I just want to check on him, make sure he's all right. They didn't have no emergency contacts at the gym. Anything I can do to help. Uh, they're like, oh, man, cool. What's his name? I was like, his name's Eddie. They're like, last name. I don't know his last name. And they still looked. They were like, all right, there's no one. First name Eddie right here. Just came in with any kind of heart attack, chest pain, none of that. I was like, cool. All right, fine. Uh, so I went to the, the next uh, closest emergency room. Got here. Told him the same thing. They was like, and this was a, this is what I don't like. Man, they were just so stone cold with it. Like, be a human, have a little bit of a, a dang heart, yo. But uh, you know, I told him the same thing. Oh, you need his last name. Chick was stone cold. I can't do nothing. You, nope, I need his last name. I was like, okay. I was like, but you, do you see what like I'm trying to do? Like, I don't want to be invasive. I don't even know if he's conscious right now. Maybe you can go back, let him know who I am. He'll know who I am. And if he wants me to come back, she's like, I can't tell you if we have him here or if you can't tell me his last name. I was like, cool. And like, I'm mad. I'm probably more frustrated that they were just so cold about it. I understand they have things like that in place because there's some, you got to be like that because there's some stupid people out there that make people put stupid rules in place, right? Um, so I called the gym. I was like, hey, y'all know Eddie just had a heart attack, right? Yeah, that was scary. Cool. This is the situation. Are y'all comfortable giving me his last name? I just, you know, this is what I'm trying to do. Yeah, no. Stone Cold can't give out any, uh, you know, can't give out members information. I'm like, I get that. I get that, man. I mean, y'all can't do nothing, though. Like, come on, help me. Like, Y'all see what I'm trying to do? What can I do with this man's last name? Like, I can't steal this man's identity with his last name. Like, I'm obviously just trying to help. Y'all know there was a heart attack that just happened. Like, yo, come on. Can y'all help a brother out? I'm at the hospital. They won't let me. All I want to do is, I don't know. I don't know what I can do to help, but I'm just trying. Put myself in position. Nope. Sorry. 
I bluff you too then. Um, so I, I probably, no lie, I probably was outside the, the, the hospital for like 30 minutes just now. Uh, I was sitting out there on the bench. I prayed. I was like, I don't know. God, there's something I can do to help. Let me know. But, you know, that's all I can do right now is pray. And then my wife called and I talked to her for a while. Got to vent to her. She helped me calm down. It just sucks, man. And again, I can't be mad. All those rules are in place for, for reasons. I mean, it's cool trying to protect people. And I, I don't know. Just like, yeah. I guess I did want them to break the rules. But it's like, come on, man. Like. Let let, 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 let let good people do good things, man. Just trying to help. I don't know. I'm still a little hot. Probably about to go eat something. Probably lay low on the vlogs for like a few hours. Just chill out, calm down, and you know. Yeah. I'll be back, though. Hey, man, who's that cat coming down the street? I don't know, but it sounds to me like that's just man with the bone. Sure having himself a ball. girls out here trying to break me, man. They trying to break me. And Lorraine's the ringleader. They keep, hey man, they coming in the, in the office every few seconds. Dad, lyric, flick my ear. All right, you're all right, go play. Come back, daddy. My booty itch. Scratch it, baby. Go back to your room. Come back, daddy. She's telling me what to do. Tell her don't do that. Go back to your room. Daddy, I'm cold. You know how it's rough, man, trying to get work done when you can't say, go go tell your mama. Can't lock the door. Can't I can't lock them out. They like some zombies just beating at the door. Just Haven't been very productive today. Haven't been in much of a mood either, though. Like a, a productive mood, so that's the benefit of not having a job. It's beautiful when I can wake up and just say, Love it. I ain't doing nothing today. I think I'm gonna try and sneak, take a shower. Hopefully they can survive. I mean, Juice and Brianna are downstairs, so they should be fine. And who knows how I feel after that. Maybe we feel productive. Maybe we just call it an early night. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so we're editing cooking videos. And um, the recipe is protein yogurt and grapefruit. And I'm editing, and I'm editing, and I get to like, almost being done pretty much and I was like wait a minute that's not that's not a, a grapefruit that's an orange she's like no that's definitely a grapefruit I'm like no baby that's an orange she's like no it's a grapefruit I was like no it's an orange if you think it's a grapefruit that's what she thought a grapefruit looked like and this <laughs> <laughs> is what an actual grapefruit looks like grapefruit Orange. <laughs> Grapefruit. <laughs> Orange. So it's too late now, but the video's already recorded. I just thought that was funny. She swore up and down and she got it out of the grapefruit section. I did get it out of the grapefruit section. Well, it's not a grapefruit. It's an orange. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Babe. Babe. So what? You can't tell the difference between an orange and a grapefruit. <laughs> I can. It did not smell like an orange. 
It's definitely. not like a grapefruit. No, you must yeah. not. You must not know what a grapefruit smells like. I do either. know what a grapefruit smells I like. I know what it smells like, but don't know what it looks like. We'll get through it. Whatever. For just ten cents a day, oh you guys can afford to put Brianna through kindergarten. Oh my God, I <laughs> One more time. <laughs> I'm gonna play that song in the background. You better not. I'm oh, just kidding. I love you. Love you. I love you too. Alright, I feel better, man. Took a shower. Like I'm back to life. I am going to. I think I'm gonna start a new series, man. Today. Oh. I meant to do that. I think I'm gonna do a rant series, man. I think a lot of you guys, not a lot of you guys, at least enough of you guys would enjoy that. Cause a lot of you guys are like OG daily dosers and y'all remember when it was just questions. I think I'm gonna bring that back. That might make me happy. I enjoy doing that too. So I think I'm gonna record the first episode now and maybe put it up tomorrow. So you guys will see it before you see this, but you'll know the day I had the thought of doing it. Linda, should I do that? I think so. You like that idea? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think I'm about to do that. Like right now. It's time to eat again. <laughs> it's snowing. It is snowing. It's not sticking, so it's not horrible, but the temperature's supposed to drop, so it's cold, and I'm hoping that it doesn't like snow all night and then stick. Oh, I like Cause that would suck. So yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? You're cooking? Shut up, man. I just gotta talk crap. He's looking at grapefruit. Are you recording? You're recording for real? Yeah. Dude, back up. <laughs> and you just got my head all exposed to these people. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Okay. <laughs> I know. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. I got twisties coming out the side of my head. Like, what is wrong? What? You gonna record that? You gonna put that on camera? You just, you just. I gotta use this vlog too, cause I ain't really, I ain't really vlog that much. But that's funny to you though. Like, alright, bet. Next time you like at home, you got your mask on and stuff. I'm coming in there. Like, Boom! I'm exposing everything. Yeah. I can't believe you just. You can probably barely even see it in the video can... cause it was dark. <laughs> what? Yeah, dude, my hair is long, man. I just gotta pick it out. I'm so lazy to pick out my hair, but thanks for exposing me. I hate you. I love you. Day two in the books. We leave tomorrow. Always a bittersweet time leaving this mountain. So I'm excited though. I feel like I've got a lot of good stuff. And then I'm gonna get some more good stuff at the morning service tomorrow, so I'm tired. I'm gonna read Daily Dose comments for today, and I'm going to sleep, so until the morning. It's all good, man. She comes back tomorrow. Unfortunately, I leave Sunday, and I have a butt ton of stuff to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna suck. Tomorrow's gonna be busy. It's part of the grind though, man, part of the grind. I stayed up so late, I was I, uh, I was editing that rant video. It was like an hour rant uh, with over an hour of footage I had to condense into an hour. Not a lot of complicated editing, just, editing, just a lot of tedious editing. So that should be up tomorrow. Hopefully you guys end up enjoying that series because uh, I feel like I'll enjoy doing it, but no more talking. Time for some sleeping. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Appreciate all the support on Daily Dose. Until next time, God first. God bless. God first. God bless.